Hey, what's up you guys? I'm back with another video. One of you guys requested that I make a video telling you guys what are my favorite stores to shop at. So I've included some stores that I shop at online. I've included some stores that I shop at in person. Um, I've also included stores that's like if you're shopping on a budget and I'm, I'm including stores that I'm planning on shopping more often. So let's just get into this video. You should learn some stuff, okay? All right, so I'm gonna lean back and you relax. So I got my laptop in front of me because I actually went to everybody's website that I'm actually gonna mention to see what kind of sales that they have up and all that kind of stuff like that. This video is gonna be up really, really soon. So I wanna actually give you stuff, you know, give you guys um, stuff that's like current as of right now, okay? All right, all right, so the first store that I'm gonna mention that I like to shop at is going to be boohoo.com. This is like a one-stop shop, okay? Like, if you want, if you're looking for an outfit for the night, obviously, you can't, no. If you're looking for an outfit for a certain time, like for a concert or something like that, and you want it to arrive at a, like, cause it's taking a little bit of time, all right? Cause it's overseas, so it's not gonna be like, if you shopped at somewhere like H&M or something like that, that's gonna get you some, get there quick. It's not that quick, okay? Stumble over my words. Sorry. All right, but anyway, so Boohoo.com has a lot of stuff, and I mentioned like if you went to a concert because they have a lot of stuff that's like stylish and on trend. They keep they're very on trend. Actually, like this is probably like the more the most on trend online store that they, that I can think of right now. Right now they have free shipping over fifty dollars. They have fifty percent off clothing, fifty percent off shoes and accessories, and their sale sale section is up to seventy five percent off. So if you want some you know nice items make sure to check out boohoo.com and go to the men's section. They sell men's clothing, uh, females clothing, and kids clothing. Clothing. So if you're a female and you're watching this video, they do have 50% off for you too. Boom. Next up is going to be AliExpress. Now I know a lot of people don't trust AliExpress, but I love AliExpress because I haven't had an experience where I felt like I got cheated or, well, yeah, I have a lot. I, I've had to like get refunds and stuff like that back or partial refunds because they sent me something that didn't look exactly like how they're supposed to be but I guess I was ordering questionable stuff back then anyways but now I tend to stick with the stuff that I know so on AliExpress you have to make sure that you go to vendors that are reputable and as reputable as they get on AliExpress so on each store if you go to the actual um, store like the online store like the store within AliExpress like it'll have like if you see an item you can go to view store and one of my favorite stores is okay I can't pronounce this is is in Chinese or let's see Ding Li Electronic Commerce Co LTD and it's a long little name but I trust this one because the way this is how you can tell if you trust it it's been open for one year so that's a long time in AliExpress in AliExpress terms, okay? A year is a long time for a store to be open on this website. And it has 97.2% positive feedback. So that means it's a store that you can trust, okay? Um, another store that I um, shop at on AliExpress would be Hey Guys. Now, Hey Guys Streetwear Store, this is a store that I've been shopping at for years. This store has been open up for four years. The name has changed. It's, it wasn't always Hey Guys. It was called something else before. But this, um, like I said, it's been open for four years, so you can definitely trust this um, this website. This is definitely a store that I absolutely trust. This has a 97% positive feedback. So, like I said, you can definitely trust it, and I will definitely leave these links of these to these stores down below in the description, so you can click on them and check them out yourself, so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. All right, all right, got you guys. Told y'all, got y'all. All right, the next store is or stores I'll put the Akabani's to H and M and Forever Twenty One. You can this is a, you can trust these obviously. Um, the thing about H&M and um, Forever 21 is that the clothes, sometimes if you buy like the cheapest, because you know, different stores, like pretty much all every store, they have like different quality of clothing. Usually three tiers. You have the cheapest of the, of the clothing, the middle, and then you have the highest quality of those clothing. If those stores don't have like other stores that actually, you know, like a Old Navy, they have, actually Old Navy has those different, like different tiers, and then they have Gap, and then they have Banana Republic, you know, so. For like Forever 21 and H&M, you wanna go for like the stuff that's not the cheapest stuff. Like if you get a t-shirt, and that t-shirt's only $12, that t-shirt is not gonna last long, because that's like the cheapest shirt that they have. <laughs> you know, it's not gonna last long. You have the risk of it shrinking whenever you wash it, you know, it's very rare that I buy something from Forever 21 and H&M, and it actually is good quality, because that's the stuff that I, buy from those places. Usually I walk in and trying to buy something last minute, so I want something that's gonna be cheap that I can just put on that same day. I'm not gonna wash it. I'm not gonna do anything to it in between time. I'm just gonna put it on, you know what I'm saying? So those are those stores. Um, they're usually on trend. They're kind of slow on getting on trend though. Like I said, Boohoo, 
is the place to go if you want something that's on trend now. Like if you see somebody with something on and you want to try to find it, go to Boohoo and also AliExpress as well. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like Forever 21 have anything that's like percentage off. And Forever 21 look like they have some decent stuff. I might have to check this out after I do this video, okay? Newlook.com. Now I've shopped at this store a couple times. My battery is about to die. Let me switch that out real quick and I'll be right back with you guys, all right? New Look seems to have their sales up to 60% off. Um, everything else is 30% off your first purchase. So if you were first, if you're, this is your first time um, shopping at New Look, you can sign up for the newsletter and get 30% off. And they have 25% off. Oh, that's, that was women's. Sorry. Okay, it's men too. They have 25% off all knitwear and off all their shirts. So there you go. That's New Look. And like I said before, I shopped at New Look a couple times. I actually got a jacket from there before that I love. A bomber jacket. And... I don't remember, I think maybe a couple t-shirts I got from there before. Um, I haven't shopped here in a minute though because I think the new look, they took a minute to, to ship. It was a little... Next up is going to be Cotton On. Okay, so I have a love-hate relationship with Cotton On, but I still go there anyways. Um, especially for like joggers. They have the best, well, some of the best joggers. And as I'm looking on the website right now, I might need to check it out. Cotton On right now, I don't see any sales going on. The thing I don't like about Cotton On though is that a couple times I've ordered shirts and like the hem like the hem on the side would like twist after you wash it and their shirts do shrink as well so it's not really all that good quality but the stuff they have does look good okay so if you have a cotton on in your area it's like one of those places that you go in you need an outfit for tonight you go in you buy it you wear it the night and then you wash it and then it looks a totally different way not the joggers though not the pants but the top wood okay so that's alley that's a uh, cotton on um yeah no sales as of right now i don't see anything for shipping either so I don't know about y'all, but I'm a stickler for free shipping. If it doesn't have free shipping, I'm not buying it. River Island is a store that was um, introduced to me by one of my friends when I was stationed in Montana in the Air Force. And he told me about River, River Island. It was a little bit on the expensive side. Um, the time that I did shop here, I shopped in the sales section. Um, I can't recall anything that I have from River Island that I actually still wear right now. So it's something that you may want to check out if you have it, if it's within your budget. You may find something that you like, but yeah, it's a men's store, so yeah, just check it out, right? So that's not one of my favorite, but it's like an honorable mention. As well as Top Man. I haven't, I shopped at Top Man once, and I just bought one item. Um, but Top Man is one of those stores, you can find some good stuff in Top Man. It's a bit on the pricey side, and um, I feel like, like when I went in there recently, I saw some stuff that I liked, but it was like, okay, I can make this at home, you know? I can do this myself and make it at home. You know? The next door, I used to shop at this place all the time. I kind of outgrew it though, but it's Jack Threads. And Jack Threads, I'm looking at the website, it looks completely different. Like Jack Threads them came up, okay? It's like they kind of like have a subscription box service type deal where you just shop online, get as much stuff as you want. They'll send it to you and you try the stuff on and what you like, you keep and you pay for it. What you don't like, you send it back and the shipping's free. But the thing about that, here's the catch. Well, stuff like that is that the items actually cost more. And so, like, I'm looking at the website and all I'm seeing is expensive stuff. Now, now, that's not to say it doesn't have good quality because the better the quality, the more they can charge for it. So that doesn't, necess that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how much it's worth. Next up is Urban Outfitters. Now I used to shop at Urban Outfitters a lot, but I used to always shop sale because Urban, Out Urban Outfitters can be a little pricey as well. Um, but Urban Outfitters tend to have good quality things. Urban Outfitters is one of those stores, it's like one of those quirky stores. You can go there and find like random stuff. And I like that about it. Like that's something like you can be shopping in there for. Like if you got the money to actually shop there and like you can be shopping there for a minute because you can find a lot of stuff that you actually like. And I have some honorable mentions. So I'm going to pull up the websites as well for these honorable mentions so I can see exactly what's going on. One honorable mention is going to be Rue 21. I used to shop at Rue 21 a lot. I wouldn't shop there now because their, their clothes, everything in there is cheap, okay? And um, I used to shop there because everything was cheap, cheap ass, you know. And I had one in my, you know, where I lived at. So um, I used to shop there all the time. And they used to always have like sales all the time just like old navy and that's an honorable mention as well route 21 always has a sale so sales so right now they have free shipping over 50 dollars. old navy is another store um they have 40 percent off fall stuff store store wide make sure yep up to 40 percent. see i don't like that up to they try to get you old navy can have some good stuff for layering in the fall um but they don't I would say it's pretty good quality. Nothing ever distorts or shrink whenever you get it from Old Navy, but it's just not the best quality stuff. 
It's not the best. It's good, but not the best, okay? Um, and then they're not the best on trend stuff either. Like, you can get stuff like Fall Half Stuff for Fall and Winter. They always have, you know, good accessories and stuff for the Fall and Winter. But as, as far as being on trend, Old Navy is not the place to go, okay? Okay. Hollister is an honorable mention. I buy uh, my underwear from um, Hollister and I also buy my jeans. I buy jeans from Hollister because Hollister has some really, 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 really good quality, super skinny jeans. I'm pretty sure all their jeans are, you know, good quality, but I like their super skinny. Last one is going to be American Eagle. If you're on a budget, if you're on a budget, you can shop Old Navy, Route 21, and American Eagle. They have some good quality stuff. American Eagle can get a bit pricey as well, but if you catch a good sale, and yeah. And let's see what American Eagle is popping with right now. Free shipping over $50. 60% um, off their clearance section. I think that's going to be it. That's going to be the end of this um, this video. I hope you guys learned some stuff. I hope it's not too long, but it's really educational. So share your favorite stores online. Like if there's a your favorite like men's store that you like to shop at online, share your favorite store in a comment below. And um, if I didn't mention it, I definitely would like to know about it. So maybe I can shop on it and share. Like if I'm willing to share my favorite stores, you guys should be able to share your like because people are funny about sharing the places that they buy stuff from. Don't be that guy, okay? And um, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.